KPMG are delighted to support uh, the Transport Knowledge Hub in the work that they're doing on sustainable transport. It's really helpful to learn about research that's going on and experiences in different places across the country to find out if different locations have found novel ways of overcoming issues and challenges. The Hub uniquely brings together central and local government, local businesses and the transport community to encourage investments that will facilitate inclusive and sustainable economic growth. I'm just planning to talk through some of the emerging findings from our work for the Transport Knowledge Hub. And um, we're partway through the work, so this is really an opportunity to, you know, take on board views from, um, you know, stakeholders. Hearing, for example, Councillor Susan Aitken from Glasgow and also Councillor Leslie McInnes from Edinburgh, I got a sense of the fact that active travel and public transport is being built into plans. There are lots, lots of new development, lots of new housing. And then I ask about, well, wh where was the public transport thinking in this? Exactly what you just alluded to, to there, girl. Uh, yeah, we can't get buses in here. Yes, housing solutions are better in many respects in the private world, but actually the democracy of the marketplace is just as thorny. It is absolutely vital that this sustainable uh, transport um, uh, infrastructure is, is, is employed there. Transport poverty, which is a phrase I've not yet heard this morning, um, is something that is very valid in Edinburgh as in other cities across Scotland and indeed across the UK. How do we improve bus image for private householders? What's happening in Glasgow now is that we plan for and anticipate those new developments and, and plan in advance um, how we make sure that they're connected. Scotland has, has the potential to do some things better than anywhere else in the world. 